once a magnificent place, today deserted. Only plants are living among these walls. 100 years ago, this site was a place of luxury. Even a king came here to see the Grand Hotel. But in the course of time, the glory faded. On our hunt for the beauty of decay, we travel to this history-charged building. Join our exploration of this lost paradise. Welcome to Hotel Atlantis. A lovely ski resort somewhere in eastern Germany. When we were kids, some of us used to spend the winter holidays right here. But back then, we didn't notice this treasure. Many years later, we returned. And instead of searching for the adventure on the slope, we found it right inside the former Grand Hotel. Windows and doors were boarded up. Huge parts of the imposing building complex were already ruined by vandals. After 20 years of vacancy, the former luxury hotel is nothing more than a shadow of its former self. Hotel Atlantis consists of three building parts in total. The part we entered first was a horrific scene. There was graffiti nearly everywhere. We even found traces of fire. It's said that there were multiple cases of arson over the past few years. The first class hotel offered its guests a huge amount of leisure activities. There was a pool room, for instance. Sicher, dass man das auch so spielt? Ich glaube, hier gelten nicht so wirklich die Regeln. There was even a hair salon. Massage and gym machines were part of the recreation of us too. If the guests didn't own any skiing equipment, they could get some in the in-house ski rental. On top of this, the hotel came with a sauna, inviting the guests to relax. Ah, 
An impressive swimming hall was part of the hotel as well. We found this one in the second building. By now, the swimming hall has lost its appeal. It hurts to see it in such a bad condition. There was much more graffiti than we thought. The huge window facade on the outside was covered up with advertisements. On the inside there were massive mall spots all over the walls. Only the artful moral is a remnant of better times. Below the swimming hall we discovered long hallways as well as big pipes and tanks. A huge system was necessary to keep the facility up and running. Down here it was easy to lose track and get lost. Ich glaube, hier kannst du lange Staub saugen, bis das wieder sauber ist. Da wird der eine Beutel nicht ausreichen.
The third building is the oldest one. It was built over a hundred years ago, and time takes its toll. Water is dripping from the ceiling and destroys the structure more and more. In some cases the floors are extremely rotten, so it would be very dangerous to move on them. Nature is reclaiming the hotel, step by step. Whole rooms are painted green by mold. It was this beautiful decay that drew us to the site in the first place. When Hotel Atlantis was built, it was one of the finest and most modern accommodations in the whole region. It was in a top quality location and beautiful to look at, from the inside as well as from the outside. There was electric lightning and even a central heating system. The rooms were big and the hotel had its own restaurants and bars. Around a hundred guests at once could find accommodation here. Back then, even the local king spent a night in the luxury hotel. Famous winter sportspersons and their coaches stayed here too. As in the case of many facilities of the former GDR, the owner of this hotel changed after the German reunification. This was the beginning of the fall of Hotel Atlantis. The trust sold the building complex in 1991. Two years later, it was reopened as a sports hotel. But the operators became bankrupt only a few years later. Since 1998, this place is vacant and rotting away. And as it seems, all help will be coming too late. There won't be a revival of Hotel Atlantis. Only a short time ago, a commission surveyed the property and declared that the building stock is already in a ruinous state. The whole area will most likely be knocked down, which would be the end of Hotel Atlantis. This time for good.
Thanks for watching our new episode. We wish all of you a great 2018. At this point, we would like to give a very special thank you to all our supporters on Patreon. And by the way, we just updated our reward system. So to all of you who aren't Patreons yet, please feel free to check out our Patreon campaign.